Lovey. Oh, it would help if I push the button. That's hysterical. Good morning. I love you too today. Hi, Deborah. Good morning. Hi, Jen. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Shake your love. I just can't shake your love. Shake your love. I just can't shake your love. Good morning. I'm under a spell again. Boy, I'm wondering why. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. When you mix Debbie Gibson and Shaka Khan, then you know you've been in quarantine a very long time. Uh, it's Stevie Wonder's 70th birthday today. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Um... Stevie Wonder's birthday. Gotta love Stevie. Stevie. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Wednesday, some uh, day in May. I don't know. Um, I should just hang a calendar somewhere, and then I would know the date. Um, remember when we used to wear underwear with the days of the week on it? I could use those right now. There's Sunday, and there's Monday. There's Tuesday, and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Um, anyway, um, shout out to a couple of things I love this week. My friend Jenny, who's a hairstylist, came over yesterday and trimmed everybody's hair. So I took three inches off my head and it feels glorious. Okay, so shout out to that. Uh, another thing, shout out to everything but the bagel seasoning that just makes everything better from my eggs to my bagels, to my pizza, to everything else. Perhaps it's my Jewish roots, but I love everything but the bagel seasoning. It makes me happy. Shout out to coffee, always. Shout out to coffee. Shout out to front closure bras, okay? Front closure bras, I really appreciate you today. Just want you to know that. Shout out to Scorpios for no reason other than the fact that you bring passion to every situation. You're also impossible. You are emotional avoiders and you say, whatever, every time some, you don't feel like dealing with something. But shout out to Scorpios anyway. I'm on the cusp and you don't like bagel seasoning? Is that what you heard when I just gave a special shout out to everything but the bagel seasoning? Guys, listening ears today. Listening ears. Um, shout out to Pants with No Buttons. Shout out to Pants with No Buttons. I really appreciate you. Or, you know, one piece dresses where, you know, you don't know what's going on under here. You honestly, you have no idea. Am I wearing underwear? You don't know. Am I wearing a bra? Who cares? Who knows? We don't know. Okay? Uh, last thing. Shout out to Twinkies, okay? Shout out to Twinkies because here's the truth. Twinkies, you are delicious, okay? I don't care if you're full of chemicals and you're made in a factory. You are a golden, oily, delicious thing with a very specific cream that is hard to duplicate and you've been around for a very long time and I just want to shout you out. I can't eat you anymore because I can't have gluten, but I just want to shout out Twinkies because honestly, I love them. 
Okay. All right, here I go. Um, today we are going to talk about what happens when our ego, and it is our ego, suggests we lower our vibration. This is very important that you guys listen to this because I've been dealing with a friend who's been going through something for the last couple of days, actually a couple of weeks, but he doesn't want to admit it because his ego is lying to him. Okay. So when we have a interaction with somebody and we feel slighted by that person, we feel slighted, we don't like what they did, they slighted us, they uh, disregarded us, they took us for granted, they undermined us, whatever it is, right? Our ego steps up to the microphone, excuse me, I have a... Excuse me, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, I don't like at all how this feels. I'm not liking this. So what we need to do is we need to lower our vibration, get nasty, petty, and resentful, and we need to show them, like, nah, you got me fucked up. So now we're gonna act like we don't care. We're gonna act like we don't need them. This is how, how we're going to act. Now I'm not doing anything for you that I don't have to do as your mother, brother, sister, worker, co-worker, friend, whatever. Can you, hello, excuse, are you hearing this? And your brain's going, ah, uh, uh, sir, in the back, I hear you. I'm not sure that's the best way to handle this. I was thinking maybe we talk about it. No, no, sir, we're not going to talk about it. We're going to get petty, okay, and we're going to lower our vibration. We're going to take ourselves off the path of greatness, and we're going to put up, we're going to derail ourselves off the path of greatness because we're going to show them that now we're not going to do anything for them. We're not going to play nice in the sandbox. We're not going to be cool. We're going to go off the track and let them be on the track to greatness by themselves. And then the brain goes, uh... Sir, in the back, I don't know how you got in here, but it's fine. You're here now. I'll take your question. I'll take your comment. That doesn't sound like the best idea. That sounds like you're you're pulling us away from our our mission here. Like we're trying to go this way, and you want us to go this way. And I just I don't know if that's. And then ego get ego double downs. He double downs, right? No. You see, this is your problem. You let people walk all over you. You want to look like a punk. That's your problem. And in order to be great, you have to look like a punk. So if you want to be great and look like a punk, you go right ahead. But I suggest we lower our vibration, we get petty, we get nasty, we get off the path of greatness, and we go over here and be mediocre and petty and obnoxious over here. And the brain goes... All right. All right. I mean, I, I thought communication was the key and I thought, you know, it's better to just work it out, you know, cause I'm trying to be great, but you won't let me be great. So, all right, I guess we're going to go over here and we're going to do this. Okay. So I have a conversation with my boy, right? Somebody at work did something that undermined him. Now they're both in, in administer, you know, they're both uh, in management, right? And he made a, de a decision regarding the people that work for them. And the other person came in and undermined his decision. So all week he's been in his feelings. He's been sour about it. Push fake. Mm, I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing anything that isn't in my job description. I'm not doing blah, 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 blah. And I'm going, uh-huh. Okay. So I let it go by a day. Because like, all right, you want to be in your feelings. No problem. Take a day. Take a day and a half. Be in your feelings. Whatever. But boy, his ego was in overdrive. No. Don't be great. Be petty. So I'm like, 
listen, so the second conversation we had about it, I do like a mini coffee talk. Like, listen, you know, when God, God doesn't qualify the called, God calls the qualified. Like you are destined for great things. You are meant to be great. So why would you allow the actions of another to pull you off your path and put you and lower your vibration, right? No, because that's not what I'm doing. Oh, it isn't? And here comes his ego back on the mic. Who is this chick? Shut her down. Who is this girl with the big ears and the big ass forehead? Shut her down. Nah, she's trying to talk. To, no. So what does she think? She's a philosophizer? Is she trying to philosophize us? No. Shut her down. Get off this phone. We don't need her. Stay petty. Stay petty. Stay in your low vibration. So I was like, he was like, look, I'm not having this conversation with you because I already know what it is. Okay, sir, go right ahead. But let me tell you something. When God calls the qualified, God does not leave you alone. You think you tell me the philosophizer to get off the phone and God's just going to leave you alone when you have been qualified? You are qualified? No, that's not how that goes. So you think it's going to leave your spirit no, I'm taking my sweater off for this sermon, folks. Uh-uh. You think it's going to leave your spirit? It's not going to leave your spirit because you're not meant to vibrate at a low vibration. You are meant to vibrate high. So when you get into that space and the devil puts his arm around you and goes, you don't need anybody. Be petty. Be safe over here. Be petty. Be a bitch. Be a whatever. Don't be a punk. Flex. Don't do shit for people. Okay, I'm over here. So... That's not going to sit right with your spirit because when, when you are qualified and you have been called by God because you're qualified, you think God's just going to leave you alone? No, God's following you around your house while you're trying to go to sleep. He's whispering in your ear and you just keep thinking about something over and over and you think you're obsessing, but you're not. That's God going, bitch, you're qualified. Get up. What are you doing? Work this shit out and get back on your path to greatness. What is wrong with you? But you don't know. You don't recognize it. You're like, damn, I'm still thinking about it. I don't feel right. It's not sitting right with me. I feel some type of way. Whatever. Right. Because you have been pre-qualified for greatness. Okay? And you need to get up and step back into that. Okay? So then, yesterday he calls me and he's like, yeah, how are you? Good. Okay. How are you? Good. I know something's on your spirit, friend. Talk. Comes up again. Okay, so I... Yeah, you know, I'm just not gonna... Oh, so here it comes. It's coming back up again. You know why it's coming back up again? Because God does not like the way you are behaving. Okay? Your ego is all over this. You look like a fool, but I'm going to let it play out. Keep talking. So he's going on and on about it. Like, I feel this way. And by the way, I would like to say he was absolutely justified in the way he feels. Do you know how many times I get in my feelings when I make a parenting decision and Michael undermines me in my parenting? The shit is so annoying. It's annoying. It's disrespectful. It feels, puts me in my feelings and I address it. Here's why you can't do that. And then we move on. Because when I get petty and I start to go like, well, fuck you then, I don't have your back and I'm not going to parent with you and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Okay, well, who wins there? Nobody. Part of our job as human beings, part of our job description is personnel issues. You think only people in corporate America have to deal with personnel and HR problems? Hell no. I've been trying to fire Charlie for six months. Okay, I am the HR director, hire, fire, whatever, and I can't get this girl out of my house. Personnel issues are part of being a human being. How you handle people is on you, right? Now, okay, so he starts talking about it again. I'm not doing anything. Nope, I'm not. I said, but you're making all these decisions from emotion, and your ego's backing you up. Your ego's your hype man right now. And I'm telling you right, right now, when your ego is your hype man, you will fall on your face. No, I'm not 
This isn't about ego. I'm just not doing shit for people anymore. Oh, okay. But that's not your nature. So not only are you going against your nature, but you have lowered your vibration so low because you're so annoyed by this situation that it is now affecting you and who you are and how you operate and how you live. So who's winning? How do you feel like you're winning? Your ego has got you out here losing. You are losing. You are losing disguised as winning, which is so obviously losing. That's where we're at right now. Don't coffee talk me. No, I'm going to coffee talk you. So you better just saddle up, friend. We're going to have a whole conversation about this. So I coffee talk him within an inch of his life. Literally. Within an inch of his life. I, I, I think he was probably starving by the time the conversation was over. Oh my God, Mary said ego talking like Flava Flav. You ain't never lied. Three o'clock in the morning, you're trying to go to sleep and ego's still talking. And did I tell you? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh. Um, Luann, you comment Jason's on the floor a lot and it's weird because I don't know what it means. And it's so weird. Is it something I'm missing or is it a comment I need to delete? Um, anyway, I just want to tell you when you get into that space, when you've been hurt or wronged or undermined or whatever, you don't have to tolerate it, right? You don't have to tolerate it. Cause I don't want, I don't want you guys to think this coffee talk is about tolerating like disrespect or undermining or whatever. What I want you to understand is there's a difference between setting clear boundaries and communicating and not tolerating certain things. Because I just want you to know that you cannot let your ego take the mic and derail you from what God has called you to do. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. I tell you again, this is real. This isn't like some hokey pokey shit, okay? God does does not qualify the called. He calls the qualified. If you are put on a path, you are qualified. You know those letters you get for in the mail? You have been pre-qualified for some shit that'll end up making you broke probably, but whatever. That is God. That is what he does. Okay, so please don't forget your ego thinks it's protecting you. I understand your ego takes the mic with the best of intentions. Have you ever heard SoundCloud rappers? Same shit, okay? Your ego is just looking out. I appreciate that. But when your ego is changing your nature, when your ego is pulling you off your path, when your ego is working to destroy relationships and friendships, that's when you got to say to the ego, somebody get that mic. Mm -mm. No, no, sir. We're done with you. No, I don't care if you have to leave the press conference. Sorry. Got to go. You cannot, um, you cannot allow your ego to stay on the mic too long. You just can't. And the good news, the good news is that I think it got through to him because... He told me he was going to have a conversation with his coworker and be like, listen, I, you know, I just, I would like to understand why decisions were made and this is how, you know, okay, here we go. Now ego's mad. Ego's in the back going, I know you didn't listen to this philosophizer, this girl with those coffee talk videos. I know you didn't listen to this girl. I've been with you your whole life. You don't, you just known this girl from high school. 
Sorry, ego. And I really believe this. I really, really do. Um, I don't know. Y'all are jump. I don't know. Y'all are talking about Michael. I'm all confused about what's going on. People are on the floor. Michael needs to cry. I don't, I think you, y'all maybe came in late to the video. This is not about my husband. Um, it's about a friend from high school. But anyway, I love you. And, um, we're all going to take the mics back from, is that, some sort of dead bug on my damn coffee cup? It sure enough is. Get the fudge off my coffee cup. Nastiness. You nasty. Nasty. Um, okay. I love you guys, and I will take a couple of questions really quick about this in particular. If you have a question or a comment about this in particular... Um, let me know. I'm looking to speak to people who have not spoken already. Um, hi, Megan. Yes, take your mic back. Take your mic back. Um, any questions, any comments? No? Okay, what is your question about this topic? Okay, uh, I don't know what to do if you're... Um, okay, no? Anybody? Um, okay, well that's new. Um, that nobody has a question or a comment. I love it. I know. XO Kate always, uh, how do we get our mic back? Well, we don't want to give our, we don't really, I mean, if it's ego on the mic, we don't really want to take it back. All right, here. I love you so much. I love you too. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you like live. Hi. Like, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Is your name Christina? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I'm yellow. I'm yellow. Well, go into okay. a room with not so much sun. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I love your topic today. I feel like ego is just like... When we're in our ego, it's the worst possible place to be, right? Like, if I'm doing anything, I've got to look at my motivation. And if ego or self is involved, then I'm all fucked up. Like, I'm doing the wrong thing all the way. Well, you'll stay, so, you'll stay there. If ego is on the mic in the beginning, it's okay because that helps you. It protects you. Like, your ego is there to protect you a little bit. What happens right. is ego... Did you ever see somebody try to blow out birthday candles around a toddler and the toddler just keeps trying to blow out the candle no matter how many times you pull the toddler away? That's ego. So it's yeah. like, even if you light the candles 10 times and let the toddler blow them out, he's still going to try to do it the 11th time. Right. Because they never feel like they get enough time. That's, yeah. e that's ego. So like, I... Um, I understand exactly what you're saying. It's a, it's a, it's a very delicate balance to let your ego kind of protect you a little bit. But when it starts pulling you away from people, well, God has yes. You. And also people is to do his work and people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a business in town in my small little town right now and everything that I have to do, it has to serve my community first before it serves me. And then when you get into that space where you are serving others first, there is nothing that can stop you. There is nothing that will hold you back there. I, I just know this to be a fact. When you put, when you put your ego and yourself aside, 
there is nothing that will stop you. You will continue to be blessed over and over again. I'm telling over you. And, over. and also, really, even if it's not about charity or giving, even if it's just interpersonal relationships, when yes. you pull your ego back, you will just have healthier relationships with people. Right. Because, because there's nothing working to get in you the know, way of that. Ego is that child, right? It's that inner child. It's that it's that five-year-old doing your work for you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard to get away from that, I think, because it's like when you start learning more about yourself, about what you're called to do, about, to, you know, taking yourself out of it and growing up, really, right? It's a lot of maturity. When you start doing that, it's hard. It's kind of, And you have to do it little by little, like you said. Like the ego is there to protect you. It's kind of like a tree. And if you go up to that tree, you know, what does a tree do? It sloughs off the, the bark as it's ready, as it's ready to have new things come for it, right? But if you go up there and you just start pulling off this bark and all those things that we have to protect us, then we're going to get hurt easier, right? So, yes, I love everything that you said when you, what did you say? If you put the, like, ev putting ego first, you will fall on your face every single time. Every time. Every time. It's, it never, if you let ego stay on the mic too long, it never ends well, ever. You lose relationships, you lose friendships, you lose business relationships because your ego convinces you that, you know, you're. And what you're doing is right. Because it's better to be right. Your ego tells you, no, you're right, so stay on the mic. Right. You're right, but, you know, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy at some point? You know what I mean? Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Or do you want to have friends? <laughs> do you want to have Do you want to have good personal relationships with people? Absolutely. Now, like you said, it's all about boundaries, too. So if you have friends that are completely overstepping their boundary all the time, then you've got to, you've got to worry about that. Too, well, then right? you have a boundary problem. Yeah. That's, exactly. the, that's the, you don't need, ego doesn't have to take over. You have a boundary problem. And if you setting boundaries feels like conflict yeah. for you, then you have a you problem, right? But ego, yeah. very rarely do we need ego to be the foreman on any personal relationship. It just doesn't end well. Um, all right. I'm going, I'm going on. I love you. Thank you for talking to me today. It was so nice to meet you. Bye, baby doll. See you later. Christina is my friend. I liked her. Um, all right. I love you guys. We can take one more. Oh, God, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm in big trouble. Uh, all right. No, we cannot take one more. I got to go to work. All right. I love you guys so much. I love you. Have a great, great day.